I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse that I want to share with you today is uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 2, and it says, This is Christ speaking, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore unto the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers in his harvest. Folks, we have got to get out there and get to work today. Jesus Christ is saying that the laborers are few. But the harvest is great. Why is the harvest great? Because there are so many of God's children who are lost today, folks. And we have got to get out there and plant seeds of hope. Uh, seeds of life. Uh, we got to get out there and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, folks. Um, we are in a spiritual battle today, and, and we need to be recruiting more people into God's army and introducing them into salvation and introducing them into the Word of God and get them into the fight. You know, when I was doing this first, I was thinking about uh, all the years that the military uh, were, were offering bonuses. I mean, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 bonus just, just to sign up because they were so desperate uh, and in need for people to enlist in the military. Hey, guess what? God is offering a bonus and it is bigger than $20,000. It is bigger than $100,000. Do you know what that bonus is? It is called a one-way ticket to heaven. It is talking about eternal life and salvation, folks. Hey, I don't know about you, but that's plenty enough bonus for me. Uh, if, if the Lord takes me today, then by God, I say, take me home, sweet Jesus, take me home. Hey, folks, uh, God expects us to, you know, you can't ha hide your light under a bushel or your candle under a bed. You've got to let the light of God shine through you when you are out on the world today. You know what? When so many people are upset and they're worried and carried on about the coronavirus or, or their trials and tribulations or, or their problems, right? And then, and then you as a Christian, if you are a Christian and, and you come along and they see you going through something bad that's happened in your life, you lost a job, you lost a loved one, uh, you got a divorce, whatever the case may be, and yet you're still smiling, you're still upbeat, and, and they look at you and say, well, brother, uh, how come you're, um, you're still happy after everything that you've been through? Hey, I tell you why, because I have the light of God in me. I have the power and the strength that he provides me. I have his promises in the Bible and I have eternal life. Can I get an amen? Amen. We have got to get out there. The harvest is great. There's a lot of lost people in the world today and God expects you. It says, uh, what is that verse in, in, in James? It says, faith without works is dead. Hey, so what if you believe? The devils believe that there's a Jesus Christ. Satan believes that there's a Jesus Christ. But it says faith without works is dead. What is doing works? It is getting out in the world today and spreading hope and talking about Jesus and planting seeds of God's word. Uh, you know, people say, well, I don't understand. How do you do that? Man, when you walk into a room, you smile, and when you walk in, people notice you because you'll say, hey, how's everybody doing this morning? Or good morning. And, and they just notice something different about you. You're upbeat. You're happy. They see the light of God shining through you folks. Uh, and that's all it takes to do a good work. Uh, get out there and hold the door open for somebody while they're walking out. Somebody drop something up on the ground, pick it up and hand it to them. Uh, maybe you're in the grocery line and somebody's short uh, five, ten bucks for paying for the groceries and they got a, a cart load of kids. Pay the bill for crying out loud. And, and people notice that there is something different about you. An act of kindness in this world today, folks, it'll go a long, long ways. We have got to get out there and plant seeds because when Jesus Christ comes to this earth, he is going to reap the harvest. Can I get an amen? Amen again. Hey, I hope you folks have enjoyed this today. Um, I hope it has edified you. Hey, if you want to take part in a beautiful, wonderful uh, ministry, folks, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the word of God and hope and a better way of life, folks. And, and we can help them obtain that by getting out and doing God's work today. Hey, um, again, hey, thank you so much for watching uh, and, and viewing the video. I love you um, because you love the Lord. And if you didn't love the Lord, you wouldn't take the time to stop and watch these videos, folks. Hey, again, 
hit the share button. God bless you. I love you all. And I hope you have a blessed week. Thank you.